Welcome to the special edition of Neurology News Network. I'm Marco Meglio. Please excuse our appearance this week as a majority of the U.S. workforce, including the Neurology Live team, moves to working remote as we come together to help reduce the spread of the novel coronavirus. Early this month, both Esai with the launch of Lumbarexin and Bristol Myers Squibb with the launch of Ozanamide announced the availability of their respective newly FDA approved agents. Lumbarexin was approved for the treatment of insomnia in adults in late December of 2019. The drug, which will be available in 5 and 10 milligram doses, is a small molecule orexin receptor antagonist that binds both orexin receptor 1 and 2. The approval of Lumbarexin was decided based on data from two pivotal phase 3 studies, Sunrise 1 and Sunrise 2, that assessed Lumbarexin versus placebo for 1 and 6 months. Ozanamod, on the other hand, was given the regulatory go-ahead in late of March 2020 for the treatment of adults with relapsing forms of multiple sclerosis, including clinically isolated syndrome, relapsing remitting MS, and active secondary results from a retrospective birth cohort of 3 million singleton live births between January of 2007 and December of 2012 revealed an increased risk of having hypertensive disorder, a stroke during pregnancy, or postpartum stroke in women with migraines during pregnancy. Overall, the study found 26,444 women with a diagnosis of migraine and 843 women who suffer from stroke. More specifically, 58% of all stroke events were ischemic, 11 women had strokes during pregnancy and at delivery, and 29 women had strokes during pregnancy or delivery at the postpartum period. Study authors concluded approximately one-fourth of the excess cases of maternal stroke associated with migraine were attributable to hypertensive disorders. This suggests that other pathways exist between migraine and stroke during the perinatal period, potentially through pathologic changes such as increased blood volume and cerebral circulation. Adamas Pharmaceuticals has announced that the FDA accepted for review the company's supplemental new drug application for its amantadine extended release capsules as a treatment for off episodes in patients with Parkinson's disease who are receiving levodopa-based therapy. The agency has set a PDUFA action date of February 1st, 2021. The agent is a weak, uncompetitive antagonist of the NMDA receptor and was originally granted regulatory go-ahead in August of 2017 as a first and only medicine indicated for the treatment of dyskinesia in those receiving levodopa-based therapy with or without concomitant dopaminergic medications. Neil McFarland, Chief Executive Officer of Adamus, went on to say, if approved, the indication would reflect the full spectrum of Gokovri's therapy, therapeutic benefit in PD motor complications and better support physicians to identify appropriate treatments for their patients. For more direct access to expert insight, head to neurologylive.com. This has been Neurology News Network. Thanks for watching.